Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala Asyadu an la ilaha illallah wa daula syarika lah Wa asyadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh Amma ba'd Para pemirsa Ilham TV yang dirahmati Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Kita berjumpa lagi dengan video-video dakwah luar negeri Dengan subtitle Indonesia Bagaimana kabarnya hari ini? Mudah-mudahan Anda semuanya dalam keadaan sehat walafiat. Kali ini Ilham TV mengetengahkan sebuah video yang menarik untuk kita ikuti. Ada seorang pemuda yang bertanya, apakah kamu bisa menunjukkan bahwasanya Al-Quran itu bukan buatan manusia, tapi memang buatan Tuhan. Dan Alhamdulillah di akhir video ternyata pemuda ini bersyahadat. Itu tandanya beliau sudah memahami bahwasanya Al-Quran itu bukan buatan manusia Akan tetapi langsung diturunkan oleh Allah Buatan Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Baik mari kita simak video berikut ini You believe in a creator? Okay good So you believe that creator is the creator of all the universe Everything that exists You don't think he's a man or a woman or like a Okay good man we there let you go What's your name? Daniel Daniel alright man so We as Muslims have the same belief. We believe there's one creator. That creator created the entire galaxies, universes, whatever else is out there that we know about, we don't know about, it's from that one creator, right? Yeah. No, that creator gave us guidance. You believe that that creator sent us messengers? Yeah. Like, like Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them. So you believe in those messengers? Yes? From Adam to Muhammad? Like I said, I don't know too much about Muhammad. I grew up Christian. Gotcha. I don't know too much about Muhammad, but I do so believe me, like in all of those people that you mentioned, I do believe that they were sent. From excellent. Muhammad. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then we're going to do your shahada because you're already Muslim. You already got that belief. You're good. You're good. Look, what is the purpose of life? It's a hard question, right? But it's an important question, right? Daniel, right? Then Jesus came with them to a place called the Gethsheman, right? Uh -huh. And said to the disciples, sit here while I go and pray over there. So yeah. he's going to go in and pray. Yeah. And what does he do? He went a little further. This is Matthew 26, 39. Okay. All right. And he went a little further and fell. He put his face on the ground and prayed, saying to the Father, to the God, right? Yeah. So he put his face on the ground and prayed, right? You saw how early, I don't know if you saw I was praying. Or you see us prayer later, yeah, yeah, you'll see it, yeah. you've seen it, right? Yeah, yeah. So we pray the way Jesus prayed. If you look in the Old Testament, you'll find Abraham, Moses, others who prayed the same way. They put their forehead to the ground. They prayed. But today you go to church, do you see that? That's what I was telling him. We were, you don't see it, that. right? Just thought, you know, just bow your head and that's it. As a Muslim, we are the true followers of Jesus. We follow his true message. Yes. For example, what do Christians say about Jesus? What do they say about him? Yeah. Oh, you know that he's the son of God. They say he's the son of God. You've read the Bible, but I'm going to show you something in the Bible. Even though a lot of this is just made up by them, by them, but some things of the truth are still there. They can't hide it, right? Yeah. And the God, this is there according to Christians, according to New Testament, Acts 3.13. And God of Abraham, Jesus is telling him, and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus. What does he say? The God of Abraham and Jacob, the one God, one Allah, glorified, right? And glorified his servant Jesus, not his son, not himself, his servant Jesus, whom you have delivered up. So now, is he the servant of God or is he God? Right? Yeah, yeah, he's not God. He's, he's not God. That, that's you're that's Muslim, bro. You're Muslim. Like, you're there. Yeah, because they always say, you know, oh, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are one. Right. And that's like... They But can. again, they can't they because can. man, you're Muslim, bro. Like, Daniel, example, where do, you been? <laughs> I do believe like the Holy. Well, from what I was taught, that the Holy Spirit is a is a real thing. But it's not God. Right. Jesus But Jesus is not God either. There you go. There you go, man. And there's there. only one. There's. <laughs> I know that there's only one that. that All right. Now. We believe in Jesus, uh -huh. we believe in Moses, we believe in Abraham. 
But we know that there was to be the last messenger to come. Yeah. The Quran tells us that last messenger is the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of the messengers. We love them all. Yeah. Like you see people disrespecting Muhammad, peace be upon him, or some, some Jews speaking bad about Jesus, peace be upon him. Muslims, we love all of them. We love yeah. Moses, we love Abraham, we love David, we love Jesus, we love Muhammad. We say peace and blessings be on all of them, right? Yeah. That last messenger brought the Quran. You have a Quran? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one. Good, 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 right? This was the last testament, right? The last message. And he brought it even though he couldn't read or write. Now imagine if I tell you this brother can't read or write, right? But he has a book in English that no English author can refute. Wouldn't you be like, how can that be? If he can't read and write, how could he, how could how he come he up? Exactly. How could he write a book? So the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, yeah. he couldn't read or write. But Allah revealed to him the Quran. He would recite the Quran and the companions would memorize and write it. And then the Arab poets who were the, who were the excellent like masters of Arabic language, they were told, if you can bring a book like it, and they couldn't bring a chapter like it, bring a few verses like it, they couldn't. Why? Because this was divine, right? The Quran, I'm going to show you a few things in the Quran. Now look at this, right? This is the Quran now, and you have one at home, so you can read it, right? In the 25th chapter, in the 53rd ayah, in the 53rd verse, right? And he is the one who merges the two bodies of water, one fresh and one palatable, and the other salty and bitter, placing between them a barrier that they cannot cross. Now sweet water and salt water, if you've ever been to a place where there's salt water and sweet, you'll see they come, but they don't mix. If they mix, all the water will become salty and we couldn't drink anything. This is one of the miracles of Allah that we can see, right? How would the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, know that he was in what's called Hijaz, right? This area is all fresh water. There's no ocean in Hijaz. The Red Sea is there, but that's all fresh water. Until you go to the Indian Ocean or the other side, you know the Prophet never went to the Indian Ocean. Right? So how would he have known that? Right? Let's say you say, oh, he guessed at it. All right, let's give it. Let's give you that. Right? Okay. <laughs> now let's look at this. This is a chapter called the Prophets Ambiya, the twenty-first chapter. I, mean, I hate to cut you off. Go for I it. Do under, I, so, because like at least to me, something that I, I learned, you know, in, uh, to the Prophet Isaiah. All right. In the Prophet Isaiah, he spoke how the earth is hung over nothing. Right. It, it's not. It, there's it, and it's spherical. Exactly. So many times, and, and they never had a telescope back then. You know, how could he? So I'm, gonna, I'm just exactly what you said. We're gonna play off that. Look yeah, at this. Yeah. The same, this is from Allah. See, you brought that up and Allah brought the verse to you. The Prophets, chapter 21, verse 33. And he is the one who created day and night and the sun and the moon, each traveling in an orbit. Look at that, right? How did the Prophet ﷺ know that? He didn't have a telescope, we didn't have Hubble telescope, we didn't have NASA, we didn't have any of that. The fact that even the sun has an orbit, till very recently, scientists didn't know. That, that's a proof right there that that's, that, a that's not human written. Yeah. All right. Proof right there that that's, that, that's not human written. Yeah. All right. You you're Muslim. Yeah. That's it. All right. We're doing your. You're doing your. Your shahada. This is going to be your testimony of faith. Oh. All right. <laughs> you just said it's not human written. You believe that this is from Allah. How can you not be Muslim? You already have it. That's it. <laughs> Come here, bro. You got this, man. You got this. All right. I'm gonna say it with you. I'm not going to pick oh. it up. Or, it's all right. Sorry about it. All right. So, we're going to do it in Arabic or English first? What you want to do? I don't know Arabic. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm going to say, you just say it with me. Don't worry. I got you. All right. We'll do it in English first so you know what you're saying. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That the Prophet Muhammad. That the Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And slave, servant of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You're Muslim. <laughs> All right. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Muhammada. Muhammad. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasulu. Allahu Akbar. You're Muslim. <laughs> greatest day of your life, bro. <laughs> greatest decision of your life and greatest day of your life. You're Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, bertambah lagi saudara kita, saudara seiman. Mudah-mudahan pemuda tadi bisa istiqomah di dalam dinul Islam. Dan semoga bagi Anda yang menyaksikan video ini juga 
akan semakin kokoh keimanannya. Amin. Apabila Anda merasa bahwasanya video yang kita tayangkan ini bisa memberikan manfaat untuk Anda, silakan untuk tidak segan-segan klik like, share dan subscribe channel ini. Mudah-mudahan akan semakin banyak orang yang mendapatkan hidayah melalui media-media online semacam ini. Sampai di sini dulu perjumpaan kita. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.